Bruh. Bruh. Are you serious right now? Maybe you've been wondering what happened to LaMichael James's NFL career. Or maybe you were just reminiscing about his amazing college career. This video is going to feed both those urges. It's going to answer all those questions. And then we're going to get nostalgic, put LaMichael on the field in NCAA football 14, and beast out. But first, we're going to go back and revisit LaMichael's college career and his NFL career. My name is Flim Low Raps, and if you guys enjoy these types of videos, be sure to subscribe for more. And as always, a like is definitely appreciated. Let's go. When LaMichael James was in high school, his favorite player was Reggie Bush. And when he hit the field for the Oregon Ducks, he gave a lot of us flashbacks. In 2009, after LeGarrette Blunt, who's still playing in the league today, by the way, lost his temper and then LaMichael became the starter. But he didn't limp out there like the backup. He was racking up 118, 152, 154 yard game. Then when he played his favorite players alma mater, USC, who was then ranked number five in the nation, he beasted out 183 yards, easy. And he helped lead Oregon to the upset. That year, he led all. BCS conference running back with a 6.9 yards per carry average. Now, we gotta get credit to Chip Kelly's offense. I can't really make this video ranting and raving about LaMichael James' days at Oregon without showing some love to Chip Kelly. His offense was unprecedented. It was crazy. It was fast. It was, come on, man. But LaMichael was the perfect fit. And really, when you think about it, he kind of started that quick, speedy running back trend at Oregon. In 2010, he had multiple 200-plus yard games. Past 2,000 yards rushing in his career, ironically broke LeGarrette Blunt's touchdown record, and went over 100 yards in every game he played that year, with the exception of two. He finished the season with 1,682 yards and 22 touchdowns. I mean, he was a Heisman finalist. He won the Duke Walker Running Back Award. I gotta say it like that. Dynasty fans know what's up. And he helped lead Oregon to a 12-0 record in the regular season, but they came up just short versus Auburn in the national championship. The next year, LaMichael became Oregon's all-time leading rusher. Then on September 24th, he broke another goddamn record, man. Oregon's single game rushing record with 288 yards versus Arizona. Now we get to the gameplay portion of this video. That's gonna be what we are shooting for. That same year, he also helped lead Oregon to a Rose Bowl victory. This man was a beast. Now I also gotta mention he ran track at Oregon. And that 2010 season where he crossed over 2,000 yards rushing, in that same year, he placed fifth in a 100 meter dash at the Pac-10 track championship. He ran a 10-5. He also anchored on the four by one relay. They came in four. Put this in perspective, bro. He's a football player. He's not practicing track year round, man. These are the Pac-12 championships. I just, I just want to make sure you understand like the the magnitude of what this man was doing. Now he ran a 4.45 at the uh, NFL Combine and like a 4.32 I want to say at his pro day. You get conflicting times from pro day. And in 2012 he got drafted in the second round by the San Francisco 49. Now he didn't play in a game, a regular season game, until week. 14. They took him in the second round, dog. Why? According to everything I've read, it doesn't seem to be due to injury. Not that first year. He may have had some nagging injuries. I don't know. But most of the evidence points to the fact that the 49ers was just a really good team. They had a pretty stacked backfield where Frank Gore, who went to his fourth Pro Bowl that year, and undoubtedly ate up the majority of of the carries. I mean, this dude is a workhorse, bro. They had Kendall Hunter, who averaged five yards a carry that year. And some of y'all might remember, Brandon Jacobs was there. Now, Brandon Jacobs was a 6'4", 260-plus pound behemoth. I've never used that word in my life, but when you talk about Brandon Jacobs, that's the only word that will accurately describe this man's stature on a football field. Now, he was toward the back end of his career, and injuries did start to plague later in the season. That's why week 14, LaMichael finally started getting a little bit of time. Now check it out, the 49ers went 11-4. This was Jim Harbaugh's second season with the team. Then they won the NFC Championship and went to the Super Bowl. They came up just short, lost to the Ravens, and Jim's brother, Jim Harbaugh's brother, score was 34-31. Now, by the time LaMichael did finally get to play in Week 14 and for the rest of the season, he played okay. He didn't play bad. Matter of fact, he scored his first touchdown in that NFC Championship game. That's dope, right? He also made a big impact on kick return. And you would have kind of thought he would have been doing that all season but i checked their depth chart and they also had ted again now the next year 
He ready to be the man. Got hurt in the preseason. But he still played in 10 games, man. It's not bad. But in those 10 games, he only had 10 carries, bro, and two catches. He did rack up a decent amount of yards on special teams, but had two fumbles. Now, he probably felt like he could do more and should be doing more and wasn't really being given the opportunities that he felt he should be given, understandably. And in 2014, he asked to be released. 49ers granted him his wish, and he did get picked up by the Dolphins. But on and off with them between 2014 and 2015, he only played three games for the Dolphins. Ran the ball at the backfield three times and had two kick returns. Now, both returns went for over 20 yards, but he fumbled one. Based on everything I can find today, it seems that he's technically a free agent, but effectively retired. And from just gathering some information from his Twitter page, today he seems to be kicking back, kind of chilly, man. Keeping up with the NBA, keeping up with college football. Showing a ton of love to Saquon Barkley over on his Twitter page. Why am I shouting out his Twitter? But here on Flumlo Raps and college football fans in general, we choose to remember LaMichael's amazing Oregon career. And although he never became a star in the NFL, there's a very small select group of people who can even say that they made it to that level. Personally, this is opinion. I think size, his fumble issues and injury issues plagued him a lot. I mean, it was obvious it plagued him a lot, but I think that's probably why he's not playing today. But it's hard not to think what if he wouldn't have got drafted by the 49ers and would have went somewhere else and been given a much more of an opportunity in his first year. Then if he gets hurt in the second year after having a really good rookie season, when he comes back, it's not his career is not so fragile, man, because it, it can be real fragile in the NFL. All right, man, let's suit up. So we've taken LaMichael James and created him on the current Oregon team. Of course, just like every episode of this series, we're rocking with a 99 overall LaMichael James. Here are his attributes. First off, let me point out the fact that it's crazy how Oregon is in the first two episodes of this. Second, what we're going to be shooting for today, 288 yards, which was LaMichael's highest yard total during his college career. This took place versus Arizona, so we're trying to duplicate it versus them. All right, man, for this challenge, now, this is a running challenge, so we're going to change it to five minutes since... You know, the clock won't continue to run. So we got five minute quarters. Heisman difficulty, we're shooting for 288 yards, bro. Almost 300, not gonna be easy. We are gonna try to get it though. We're gonna continue to rock with the zoom camera. Ooh. Oh, let's go. <laughs> hey, let's go, what? Yo, I, his arm size is literally on zero. His arms look huge, dog. <laughs> well, nowhere. Oh, we're gonna get outside. Ah! Hey, there we go. We pick it up, baby. Damn, bro. <laughs> All right, man. We really gonna need to burn some big runs to get 288. Oh, um, bro, this is gonna be tough right here, dog. <clears throat> Defense gets a stop. Finally, we go. Oh, we get out in the open field, but because we can't see over there, we don't realize the guy lurking out there, man. <laughs> Damn zoom camera. Oh, <laughs> let's go. That's what I'm talking about, baby. No! I'm coming back with the money in the bag. The rule is in my lap, yeah, I'm running for the cash. I come and go like a round, round, round. Putting in a word like I'm way behind. Still trapping on the low, low, lurking in. Yo, forgive me, man. I On that replay, I noticed he is a little too light skinned, bro. It's The, the colors seem right, but I mean, here it seems cool. It's just when you get that close up, man. First and 10. Oh! All right, bro, we got 111 yards, dog. That one crazy run. Here we go. Here we go. Boom. for me. Here 
We basically made our own counter. <laughs> All right, man, Arizona manages to score this time. We got a minute left and a half. Uh, who's this show me my yards? I know we doing good, we on track. Uh-oh, we out of here. Damn. All right, bro, we're very, very close. We need about 30 more yards. We should get this in the third quarter. And you just run over Cass sometimes. Ooh, oh, no! But he does have that issue from time to time, bro. Oh, man, come on, bro. And next thing you know, bro, it's a super tight game, dog. I almost... Almost got my yardage, and the second I do, I'm about to torch these dudes. Let me. Fourth and six, yo. I gotta get this first down, man. Two eighty-three, five yards. Oh no, no, no. two seventy-five for us. Who was running? I don't remember, but okay. There we go. Wait, is that it? No, no, no. We are a yard short, two yards short. <clears throat> Come on, Michael. Woo! <laughs> Let's go. <laughs> I had to do it. I knew this dude was going to kiss me. All right, now we can really open up the playbook. I was wrong. Oh! <laughs> and we're walking in for a touchdown. All right, man, that's the game. The 35 38 with light skin, super light skin, LaMichael James. Again, sorry about that. 42 carries, man. 390 yards we put up. Four TDs. We did have a fumble. That is what that is. Anyway, bro, I hope y'all enjoyed this video. If you did, do not forget to subscribe for more NCAA content, more forgotten players, man. And let me know in the comment section who else you want to see. Like the video, share the video. My name is Flo Rhymes.